James Sterling, a British architect. Full name, Sir James Fraser Sterling, born on April 22, 1926, at Glasgow, United Kingdom, died on June 25, 1992. James Fraser Sterling was a British architect who was awarded the Pitzker Prize in 1981 for his work in the field of architecture. He is well known for his outlandish and sometimes problematic designs for residential housing and structures. Educational background. Sterling studied architecture at the University of Liverpool from 1945 to 1950. He worked in a variety of London businesses prior to starting his own practice. Between 1952 to 1956, he worked in London for Lyons Israel Ellis, where he met his first partner, James Bowen. Professional background. In 1956, in London, established his own practice in cooperation with James Gowan. In 1967, in addition to teaching in Europe, he served as the Charles Davenport Professor at Yale University. In 1971, Sterling began to work in partnership with Michael Wilford. From this point on, the scale and number of his projects broadened to include museums, galleries, libraries, and theaters. In 1977, James Sterling was awarded the Alvar Alta Medal. By 1980, he has completed a major social sciences center in Berlin, a performing arts center for Cornell University, such major museum project. In 1992, Sterling was awarded a knighthood on the advice of Michael Wilford, he accepted the honor. Completed works. The Rice Building, a lesson in restraint, was the ultimate in contextual architecture. Both the materials and the design forms were the same as the original buildings, but Sterling used and interpreted them in witty and offbeat ways. For example, a two-story arc on the main facade, including a frown window near the top set decidedly off-center, to give life and light to this addition. The Sackler Museum, on the other hand, is a freestanding building, located on a small lot across from the Fog Museum, with which it was intended to be connected by an enclosed catwalk over an entrance that some said recalls the ancient Lion Gate, and others insisted was Superman's Fortress of Solitude. The exterior of the building was striped orange and gray brick, and the interior continued this color pattern. Engineering Department, University of Leicester, Architect Jean Sterling, Location, Leicester, England. Construction period, 1959 to 1963. Building type, academic. Construction system, trusses. Climate, temperate. Style, modern. This project was done with James Gowan. It has large areas of glazing contrasted with heavy masonry forms. The auditoriums are cantilevered structures, although all of the materials look made of stock parts. The aesthetic power is striking. The balance of parts creates a memorable image. The buildings cannot be understood from any one viewpoint and can be best understood on the basis of an isometric drawing. The engineering drawing building was a strong contrast to earlier British post-World War II work and was the origin of James Sterling's international reputation. History Building, Cambridge University, Architect James Sterling, Location, Cambridge University, England, Construction Period 1964 to 1967, Building Type, Academic Library and Offices, 
construction system, glass and steel frames, concrete with brick cladding, climate, temperate, style, modern. Sterling's most controversial work consists of a great dog of glazed sloping roofs over the reading room, contrasted with the multi-storied structure containing enclosed spaces, which in turn are stepped to accommodate larger spaces on the lower floors. The stair tower is articulated as a separate element. The powerful image caused an ambivalent response from critics and the public. The building design was violently attacked in British press, although defended by the history faculty. In 1958, consideration was given as to whether the building should be destroyed or not. The building has suffered from lack of maintenance, but has since been repaired. Art Gallery Edition, Stats Gallery, Stuttgart, Architect James Sterling, Location, Stuttgart, Germany, Construction Period 1977-1983, Building Type, Art Museum, Construction System, Stone Cladding, Climate, Temperate, Style, Post Modern. Sterling signature was mirrored glass, colored building materials, including green window frames, purple and turquoise moldings, and pink railings against yellow stucco and Portland stone, and simple geometric forms and apparently random fenestration punch and cut into the building. This building was an addition to the existing Stats Gallery. It consisted of a new gallery extension, chamber theater, and music school. The design was not well received in the German press. As it developed, it was recognized that James Sterling had brought up a project which reinterpreted the past in a brilliant new way. Other works, St. Andrew's University, Five United Kingdom. Oligarchy Training School has a story. The Arthur M. Sackler Museum, Harvard University. The Clark Gallery. Addition to the Tate Gallery, Turner Museum, Millbank, London. Design Philosophies Architecture is not a question of style or appearance. It is how you organize spaces and movement for a place and activity. James Sterling was one of the earliest architects to use technology and new materials in architecture. But he always believed that the humanistic approach has to be given more importance. During the 1970s, the architectural signature of Sterling began to change as the scale of his projects moved from small and not very profitable to very large. As Sterling's architecture became more overly neoclassical, though it may remain deeply imbued with his powerful revised modernism. This produced a wave of dramatically spare, large-scale urban projects. The use of color was a characteristic of Sterling, who saw architecture as an expression of art, not merely of social planning and engineering. <laughs> 